A very warm welcome indeed to the Wörthersee Stadium in Klagenfurt, Austria. The two teams are taking to the field now. Before we get kicked off here, referee Josef Spurni. Just waiting for a second. And now the players are ready to take to their respective ends. And here in front of a crowd, many of whom are neutrals, to be fair, to come for the friendly tonight, but there'll be a lot of VAT fans. A lot of Milan fans as well, of course. Really good chance down here in Corinthia. Around about a decade in the top flight of Austrian football, a really impressive achievement for a club of their size. And they've had some pretty successful European campaigns underneath their belt as well. Really impressive stuff. Already got their season underway, and they'll get this game underway in Klagenfurt as well. A long ball towards Schatzer. Good to see him back. Several players. It's football. Lines up in the defensive midfield pivot. So important to the building of chances. And that was Kulic, though, giving it away from that very position. Mabuaki with a chance to move forward in the white of Wolfsburg. Dispossessed, though, with a good tackle. AC coming forward now. First chance for Milan to attack. Several players running into the area. Could be a shooting chance from the left hand side. It's crossed and deflected just behind. Only a corner, the first one as we tip towards five minutes here at the Vertice Stadium. Salamakas, Adli and Rafael Leal playing further forward for Milan tonight. Tirebic beginning up front, but that one's ended up as a goal kick for VRC. Must have been a flag up on the near side. Nice touch. Clearly came off defender Baumgartner. Yeah, Kalulu, Tomori. Nine clean sheets in their last 11 matches down the stretch in Serie A last season. That was what fired them to the title, really. Great ball across the box, and there could be a chance to open the scoring here. Behind for a corner in the end, but that's the first good save from young keeper Guttelbauer. A really big chance for Milan to take the lead. And the offside flag has actually denied Milan their corner once more. Nonetheless, attack and the way it panned out. Do Lucas Guttelbauer. Of Wolfsburg. No harm at all. Offside early in the build up, actually. Good defending for Van Bartner. And Vietti have won this, and they could have a break on as well. Chance for Boakie, the Ghanaian, on the left hand side. Space in the middle if the striker stays on side. Flag still down, but I think he was offside. The shot wayward and wild with the left foot of Nikos Vergos, anyway. Towards Salmak, he's the biggest player on the pitch, but he's made himself available. He's won the knockdown as well. Pass into the middle, shooting chance potentially for Revic. Comes back out to Calabria. And they're looking for the quick passing. It's low across the middle. It's up, but it's not away. Keepers underneath it, though, in the end. A routine catch after all that. Another dangerous attack from Milan. Looking pretty motivated in these early stages. And to it's a nice pass into Yassin Adli. It's really strong defending as well. Full credit to the VRT back line there. Looked like there was trouble. Luka Lokoshvili, the big Georgian. Just moving his body into just the right place. It's completely the wrong side, Adli. Lokoshvili recognised him. They played against Roma a couple of times a few years ago. Didn't get beaten either. Two draws against Ice Roma. To Rafael Leal is away on the left. Cuts back and has the shooting chance and flashes it just across the face of goal. That's the kind of danger that you get when you've got Rafael Leal. There wasn't really much on for Milan there. But once he cut back, you can tell he was eyeing up that back post. And he wasn't far away from it. himself with room at a tight angle to try and beat Gutelbauer. The shot was not far away. Koshvili had to foul him. It's carried on instead. Leal received the back heel. He's still going. This looks like rugby the way they see Milan pass in across. It's a terrible slice in the end. So Hernandez losing his footing, tumbling to the ground after taking the shot. Just swiped at it with his left foot. Fell back. Never a good sign, really. Way off target, blazed it high and wide. 
at number 19. Was an attack. They started with the throw in there. Wanted a free kick for handball, they're not getting it. Now with a chance to stretch his legs. Is he going to take on Baumgartner? He is, and he's going to beat him. And he's going to fire in a shot into the side netting. Took a nick off the defender on the way through. Similar, really, to the best chance that we saw about 10 minutes ago for AC Milan. Eating some space over on the left, cutting back inside onto the right foot. Flashing a shot goalwards. First one flashed across the face of goal, that one. Closely to the near post in the end. It's a good long ball forward, it's brought down brilliantly. Rafael Leao lifted over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. A goal of real quality from the Milan number 17 and it's come out of nowhere. They've been the stronger side. Vietze have defended well so far, but they trail in the blink of an eye and it's all about the control and finish from Rafael Leao. Brought the high ball down and lifted it gently and calmly over Lucas Guttelbauer in the Wolfsburg goal. It was a really nicely taken finish. Stayed onside, beat the offside trap. Needed that control, drop of the shoulder from Leal to open up the room to shoot. This is third effort on goal. It's found the back of the net and there could be another chance here. Grunic moving forward. Acres of space on the left-hand side. Lovely touch to ghost past the defenders. Lokashvili's there. Given those shooting chance, perhaps from Salmakis, not for Adley instead. All across, and it's tucked in as well. Milan do double the lead within two minutes after opening the scoring. Fiatse never quite got set up again after conceding the first. And all of a sudden, it is 2 0. Ante Rebic made the finish look easy. Hit the roof of the net on the inside. Kept it down. Worked it out well, and Boeki has done well. Strong challenge. And he uses pace there. Against Kunic. Like here, the young Ghanaian goes across the box. Like him, shooting chance over the top. That's by far the best we've had from Viatse today. Like Gabe will probably want that one back. He doesn't get on the score sheet all too often. Hernandez, another slightly loose touch, but he's used incredible pace to get round the back there and knocks it across for a third goal. Again, Milan score out of nowhere. Hernandez looked to have lost it. He went all the way past and just knocked it into the middle where Junior Messias was waiting. And the Brazilian had an absolute tap in in the end. An open goal, keeper beaten. It was put on a plate for him. Into the box and another big chance. Chipped across the middle. Salmakas is there. Defended on the line. It's tapped in on the rebound though. Yassin Adli makes it four. And just as they did in the first half. Milan strike twice in a matter of minutes. Frustration for Wolfsburg, who've defended well for large parts of the game. But when they go to sleep for a couple of minutes, Milan find the ways to punish them. And they've done it now four times. Yassin Adli getting in on the act. The danger was never over after the keeper was put under pressure. It wasn't the quick succession on two occasions now. Something to work on for Robin Dutt's team. And here's something from theirs on the attacking side. Yasic onto his left foot, has a go as well, and it's a good shot from Yasic. First one on target for VRT. And Mirante, the goalkeeper, is indeed tested. Yasic, the 19 year old VRT youth player, opening up a bit of space for himself, did well to move that across onto his left foot. 19. He's already got a couple of goals and assists in the Austrian. Can they do on the follow-up? It's a great delivery and it's headed in for five. Clinical stuff from Milan. Forni Balotori with the ball in. And it was just knocked straight in. And keeper Guttelbauer had no chance from that kind of range. Milan just not giving up when the attack seemed to be dead. It looked like it had gone through everybody. But Forni Balotori stuck to his task, whipped it back into the box. And the header was a fairly simple one in the end.